Sam Allardyce may be pleased with his players after West Ham picked up their first away win of the season in Monday's 2-1 win at QPR. But the same can't be said of his assessment of referee Mark Clattenburg, who handed out 10 yellow cards and one red in the clash at Loftus Road. Well, I know we've got fined for seven bookings and he's given 22 fouls against us today in a non-physical contest. And that's really, from my point of view, it's disappointing, but it hasn't affected our performance and it, has, and it hasn't affected our result. But what it did do, it frustrated everybody. Allardyce was less frustrated by the influence of striker Carlton Cole, who led by example yep. as the visitors took a 2-0 first half lead. But he missed the chance to wrap up the points with only the keeper to beat, before being replaced by Andy Carroll in the second half. The England striker making a return to action after injuring his hamstring on his Hammers debut four weeks ago. He got, began to tire a bit and things were coming off him, so Andy comes on, starts holding the ball up and then we start creating more and more chances. So, But for Cesar saves, um, we'd have scored more goals than we actually did. Carlton will be really disappointed he didn't score tonight, but I have to say, particularly the first half, his performance in terms of us building off him and us getting into wide positions and, you know, I mean, we, you know, we, we gave QPR's defence a torrid, torrid time in the first half. And uh, for a side that's just come out of the Championship into the Premier League, playing away from home, to go and take the game and completely control it in the first 45 minutes, you know, I think that's you know credit to all the players who, who went out and did that. Winston Reid and Joey O'Brien were forced off injured in the first half, but replacements James Tompkins and George McCartney coped with the late pressure as the Hammers sought out a valuable victory. So with most of his squad firing on all cylinders, the manager must have a welcome selection headache on his hands. No, never have a selection problem in my life. It's back to home affairs now for West Ham. They entertain Arsenal on Saturday.